Cancer is now becoming an epidemic throughout the firefighting profession. Our big story tonight, firefighters are known for their heroics, literally running into the fire to keep everyone safe. But battling the flames isn't the only battle they face. Cancer is the leading cause of death among firefighters. A team of Arizona researchers believes that the fires that they fight are changing how their genetics work. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariva Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is looking at how, at how this lead could help save firefighters' lives. It's in the community where they fight fires, but alongside one another. Every fire station in the state of Arizona, someone knows someone who just got diagnosed with cancer. They're fighting something much harder. Not long ago, I was in chemotherapy, and I was fighting for my life uh, because I came down with the number one cancer firefighters kit, which is Seminoma. Brian Jeffries is the president of the Professional Firefighters of Arizona. He says it's the synthetic materials that are catching fire, exposing them to toxic chemicals. Some of the cancers, there's a there's sort of the dirty dozen, as we call them, that we te tend to get uh, as firefighters are some of the worst cancers you can get. But how does this happen? We really need to help them, provide them the information that they need so that they can protect themselves. Dr. Jeff Burgess and his team at the University of Arizona Zuckerman College of Public Health want to understand. In their latest study, finding firefighters actually undergo genetic changes, hundreds of them, that affect genes associated with cancer and other diseases. An important point here is we're seeing this even in the first two to two and a half years of a firefighter's experience. Burgess and his team worked with the Tucson Fire Department and studied new recruits through their first few years of working, finding the more fires they went to or how long they spent fighting them added up. And they show that the more exposure a firefighter has, the greater the change they'll see. Hoping further studies can help pinpoint exactly what can help prevent or reverse this. But it's this study and others like it, Jeffries believes, will help save his colleagues. I hope that in one generation we can eradicate this cancer problem amongst firefighters. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.